you have to kind of approach everything as like its own skill and challenge that you can learn and like move on from. Because I think a lot yeah. of people, music is like a very natural, like not, you know, you can look at like some other subject, engineering, and you'd be like, oh yeah, you learn this math subject, mm. this math subject, and you learn this math subject, and then you're a good engineer. And music is the exact same way. It's like co-writing, writing, auto-tune, producing, recording, setting up mic placement. It's like all of these skills that turn into one song. You That's know? a great, great analogy because you're right. So many people think it's just, oh, you're naturally musical. You know, you're, you have good rhythm, whatever the case is, right? And they don't recognize the fact that there's so many different skill sets you have to learn. Even as an artist, you, you, you forget that you have to learn and you can become very hard on yourself, you know, but like if you were in an engineering program, you would recognize the fact of, oh, I can't do that yet because I don't know how to do this. And it's like, that's easy to, you know, it's, it's a very linear A and B, but it's the music industry isn't totally like that. So as you recognize that, it's like, oh, let's stop for a sec. Let's learn this, really learn this. Let's get really good at songwriting. And then we'll get really good at producing. And obviously you can do them at the same time, but like it's being conscious yeah. of the fact that like some th things aren't always innate. And 95% yep. of people, it's not innate. It's it's just a lot of hard work. It is like, I mean, it's so much hard work. <laughs> and, you know, I spent like a month at that recording studio learning how to do vocal tuning mm -hmm. or like vocal editing. And now I use it in every single song I do, but it's like, what's that's like one... Let, 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 let me ask you about that. Let, let's nitpick that for two seconds. What's one yeah. misconception about vocal tuning that you could you would, or one thing that people you think people are doing wrong that you've learned in that 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 month or say that people or one wrong. tip that you might have? I mean, it was kind of incredible. I honestly learned how far vocals could be off and that you make them good. <laughs> but on the counter end of that, like you can't like fake the emotion of something. Mm. And that translates like outside of vocal editing or like songwriting wise. I think the biggest songwriting thing I learned in that class, Kara, was like everything has to be authentic. <laughs> you know, and you I laugh because that is the exact answer that the uh, previous conversation I just had gave was authenticity. So I apologize, but continue, please. No, it's true. I just, like it really is true. And you'll notice that with like the most successful songwriters or even the most successful songs, there's something within that song or that artist that like resonates globally with mm -hmm. the majority of the population they come across, you know? And it's like, why? Mm -hmm. And I like to think about it in movies. Like, why does a movie resonate with so many people versus another movie that doesn't? And there's usually, like, there's always some, like, deep truth in there or deep human experience. It's like, it just has to be genuine, you know? It can't be faked. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people miss 